I had heard of Bill Nye confessing that the earth was an enclosed fixture before, but I had never seen it for myself. And so I was able to find the video and I want to share it with you. Rachel, this is a great question. So about what happens when you go to the speed of light. I mean, this is a great, we love to ask this question in physics class. It's big fun. Now, one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the earth. There's no place to go. There's no place to throw your trash. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe not you, but your kids develop ways to mine our landfills. We throw away so much valuable stuff right now, especially raw materials. I may be wrong, of course, I always may be wrong, but I wouldn't be surprised if that turns out to be economically reasonable. All this plastic that's really hard to create and hard to get it to break down, it has value, you know. Now, one thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the earth. There's no place to go. There's no place to throw your trash. Now, if you'll notice in the video, he tries to cover up what he said by talking about not throwing your trash in landfills and tries to make it an issue about global warming or climate change or something along those lines. But he clearly, clearly told on himself and told the truth that all of them know is that the earth truly is an enclosed fixture. And the sad thing is, is that what really baffles me when it comes to the truth of Yah's word, when it comes to so-called believers, is that when it comes to the earth and creation, when it comes to what scripture actually says versus what the world says versus what we're taught when we're children, that still so many people will justify this idea of a heliocentric model versus a geocentric model of the earth. They justify it. I don't understand how they say the science adds up, but if the science falsely called science is in, a, in, in disagreement with what the scripture says, then it would be wise to go with what the scripture actually says beyond what your science teacher told you. Now, I believe this is exactly what Yahusha was talking about through the Apostle Paul when he said that we are not to be conformed to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Why? Because the pattern of this world tells us the opposite of what Yah's word says concerning his creation, concerning his people, concerning who he is, concerning truth and righteousness. It tells us the exact opposite, but Yah's word tells us exactly what the truth is. And he says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. John chapter eight, verse 32. But most people love the lie. And because they love the lie, they would rather believe actors and they would rather believe so-called wise men and so-called um, experts in the fields of science, the, which is falsely called so, versus re believing what is actually written in the word. So you guys heard it yourself. You heard what Bill and I had to say, that the earth is an enclosed fixture. Let me know what you think in the comment section below with what he said. Was it a slip of the tongue uh, or was it just something that we took 